everyone, it's Pam from Glam Junk Journals, and today I'd like to share with you a brief flip through of one of my latest journals that I completed recently, and I'm calling this my Lovely Ladies Junk Journal. And she measures five and a half by eight and a half with a two inch spine, and it is a ring bound journal. Uh, the inspiration for this was these lovely ladies on the front, which I got from my friend, I think I've mentioned this before to you, who has a ton of photo albums and none of her family uh, wants them. So I kind of have the free reign to pick and choose some of the photographs and it's just so fun to do. So these are some of my friend's relatives. They're on the beach looking lovely. And this is constructed from a hardback book that I removed the spine and so I just used the front and the back cover on it and what I did is I mod podge some vintage scrapbook paper onto the front and the back of both the front and the back cover and as you know I like to start uh, from the ground up with my layering so I started with two doilies right here and some white lace along the side and then on top of that, I glued on this tag, which has the lovely ladies on it. And it's got some lace on the side, a little bit of bling. And on the tag is also some pearl and lace. And the theme throughout this is going to be, besides lovely ladies, is the red, the black, and the white. I just think that that's a really timeless uh, combination. And I just think it's beautiful. So what I did is I've got a little snippet at the top and this is from some vintage music and a little rosette here with a, some diamond bling and here's a bigger version down here with uh, corrugated cardboard right oh excuse me right there the black and this is some burlap and some handmade paper here and ribbon I've got some eyelash trim and some black and white polka dot fabric and then on both of them I did add some diamond embellishment these little rosettes were from a Halloween costume here it is look at that half of it has been cut off this is the front bodice part but this has got so many gorgeous details and more tool than I'll ever be able to use in my life. But that's the way I like it. And the whole thing was like $2. So I really encourage everyone to look at the Halloween costumes if it's that season because they have some fabulous fabrics and jewels and just detailed items that you can get for relatively inexpensive. So anyways, as you guys know, I love to do that. Oh. And I forgot to mention, here's a little earring that I clipped on here. It's a little heart. How cute is that? This is tied with a black and white sequin ribbon. So let me move that out of the way and we'll go inside. So here's the first page. And this is the uh, scrapbook paper I was uh, talking about. This side, here's some black trim that I got from Hobby Lobby. A sequin, or excuse me, a sequin and fabric embellished paper clip. Here's some journaling space here with a little stamp of a flower. Here's another lovely lady. I've got a card there. This is a tiered pocket that I attached. Isn't she pretty? Oh, I love it. So I made a little tag out of her. Put that in there. Some more writing space. And throughout the journal, you're going to see this. This is a uh, paper bag that I got. I don't remember where I got it, but I just love the vintage images. And the coloring just goes so well with this journal. And so on this side, here's another lovely lady from my friend's uh, collection. And she's got a stole and a really pretty hat. And she's just like, she's going out on the town. So I love that. So I put her on the front of a pocket. And on the inside of the pocket, I did put a little journaling booklet that's tied with a red ribbon. It's got about five pages in there to write on and added some red bling. And this side, this was from a uh, 
paper placemat. I got this whole pack. There was like 25 of them. And I just think it looks so cool. I don't use them as placemats, although I could, and that would be very cute. But I use them in my journals and you can just use the whole thing or just cut up part of it. And so that's what that is from. And it's really sturdy paper, which I like a lot. Another, there's that same stamp. Here's some uh, tea dyed paper with a lady that I copied on to. More writing space, a lot of writing space here. Some more paper, tea dyed graph paper. There's more of that uh, placemat. Some vintage music, spring song. And this is a receipt from Chris Craft Century Speed Boats that uh, was from 1960. So I think that's really fun to, you know, stick these kind of things in there. And the yellows just bring the golds together. So I thought that looked really pretty in there. And I did want to mention that on all of the pages, I did add some paper reinforcements so that they would be sturdy and durable inside this journal. And here's another lovely lady that I sewed onto a tag and made a pocket. And here's a couple journaling spots. More paper. And this was from a bag that is from a store up in Evergreen where I live. It's called Sisters and Company and they have these really cute vellum bags. So I thought, oh, well, of course I have to save that, right? And cut it. I just cut off the top and made a pocket out of it. And here is another journaling booklet that on the inside has uh, varying papers to write on. Some more vintage scrapbook paper. And on this side, here's a tiered pocket, side pocket with some lace. And this is A Night at the Opera. Uh, this was from a playbill. And I put some black lace on it. The coloring went really well. I just stuck her in there. And here's another, another lovely lady. I think this was from a McCall's magazine. Journaling space. This is a calendar from June of 1925. That was awesome. More writing space. A page from King John. I have the whole, uh, the whole book of that. So I'm using that in a lot of my journals. So a lot of vintage book pages. Here's more of that paper bag. And this is a card that I made and put some journaling or some writing space on the inside, which is removable. And on this side, this is a uh, window envelope that I ran through my copier. And it works really well if you guys have never done that. And I did some vintage script on it and then added a uh, fabric and burlap cluster. And another journaling card on the inside there that just goes well with the whole color scheme and I like the way you can see it through the window envelope there. Oh, and on this side we've got some lace that has been sewn on and some vintage uh, scrapbook paper and another pretty lady with some bling on a roll. Love that name, that cracks me up. Here's some trim with some yellow rosettes. More vintage music. And here's some more of this. This is kind of like a cross between muslin and cheesecloth. I'm not sure what the name is, but it's, it's really durable. So I like the way that looks. And you can kind of see the music showing through it. And that has been sewn on. And this page is some Twall scrapbook paper. This is another uh, pattern that in my opinion is timeless. Twall, I, I love everything about it and I think it goes really well with all different types of uh, journals. So love how that looks with the browns and the blacks. And here's another snippet that I added. And on this side is a corner pocket that I sewed on some fabric and some scrapbook paper and ribbon. And look at this, just a few lines from MLW. It's a vintage postcard, and I can't tell the date, but what I love about these things is you didn't have to put the street and the 
city and the state and the zip code. You just write the name and the city where they live. Ha! And it gets there. It says from Meta Weingart. So just a few lines from Meta. Very pretty. Just think of where that's been. That's so fun. Here is a Trader Joe's bag. And they have, there's another bag that has a lot of really cool graphics on it. So I always save those when I go there. Sewn around the outside with a zigzag stitch and some red satin ribbon on there. And here's another pocket that I made with another lovely lady. And I love the animal print on the front and the back. And I had, had to add some pearl bling to match her pearls. She's got some tea going there. Graph paper, more of that paper bag. And on the inside of that, I did make a pocket out of that right there. This is a tiered booklet going along again with the red and the black and the white animal theme here. This is a fabric candle holder. It wrapped around a candle and when the candle was out, uh, I had to save that and I used the other half of this candle in my uh, Gypsies journal and I don't remember what she looked like but uh, this is, says it's from the Moulin Rouge, so I thought that looked really cute on there. And some more ladies and some wallpaper, more writing space and vintage music with some lace and some stamping. Sticking along with the theme here. And here is an envelope that I did add some cardstock onto the inside. And here's a large tag that I made. And inside here is a, an altered uh, playing card that had been uh, Mod Podged. And I added some little fabric and some collaging onto that. So that looks, fits right in there. More writing space. And this is a piece of white corrugated cardboard that I attached a double doily for uh, durability. And so that creates two pockets, one on each side that you can put something in right there. And a tag that had been glitter mod podged with another fabric and lace snippet. And there's a little teeny earring that I put on there. There's the back of that. And here's another page from King John. And I copied a vintage balloon that says goodbye on it and so this is the last page that was very cute and some more vintage scrapbook paper and this is the same that's on the inside front cover that I attached some lace on the sides there and there's the back so I hope you guys enjoyed this I think she turned out beautiful and I just love the way the like I said the red the black and the white is just a gorgeous pattern to go with a color combination. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and have a good day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.